Hi, I'm Paul Bagel. I'm drinking a little Coca-Cola uh, tonight. I'm not recording this in the morning as usual, but I found a couple fascinating videos to do, and this one here is, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's 20 years old story, but it's just still fascinating. I'm Paul Begley, and I am reporting on this one. You've heard of Jesus of Siberia? I mean, this guy in 1990, at the age of 29, his name is Sergi Torop. Sergi Torop, he's in Siberia. And uh, at the age of 29, he felt this call within his spirit that he was Jesus Christ. That he had this divine nature that come upon him and that he understood that he was the, re the Messiah. Jesus Christ reincarnated. Now, he is the, his, he's the son of a construction worker. And he actually joined the army at the age of 18. He was in the uh, Russian army. And uh, he was in the construction unit for a couple of years. When he got out of the army, he became a traffic cop and worked on the night beat as a, as a police officer. But at the age of 29, he said he heard the call. This was in 1990. And he stepped forward and declared that he was the Messiah. Now, if you see his picture, he looks just like Jesus. Okay, He's got the long hair and the beard. He wears with this white... Uh, robe type uh, attire and he makes a great looking Jesus to be quite honest with you he uh, he you know he if you had a passion play this is a guy he probably want to play he really does look the part the problem is he can't be the Messiah because the Messiah died on the cross and on the third day rose from the dead even Jesus said these very words he said let no man deceive you for some will come in my name saying that I am Christ and they shall deceive many now this Jesus of Siberia has actually got 5,000 followers and he lives in a, in a mountain ha house on the top of a hill and, and uh, you can find him if you really try hard in Siberia. You have to go through the forest and there's, it's, it's a lengthy process but he's got 5,000 followers. They believe this guy is Jesus Christ. Now he's 49 years old now and um, he says that he's after 2,000 years that uh, God uh, reincarnated him because man was having wars and disagreements and hatred and his job is to, uh, you know, to bring a new utopia. He wants to build a new utopia kingdom where man can live together and, and you know, and, and live in peace and harmony. So, it's just, a, the guy's an imposter. I mean, it's just, it's insane. First of all, you have to understand that there is no nail prints in his hands like Jesus told Thomas when he rose from the dead. There's no spear in the side. <sighs> He's not the Messiah. And it's, I'm shocked that 5,000 people would actually follow him. But then again, there's the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama walks around with his mystical powers. And thousands. When the Dalai Lama came to America and he was, at, he was in Indianapolis... And uh, he was there, and uh, 10,000 people went to see the Dalai Lama. And you had to pay $25 to actually get in. And I'm thinking, you mean to tell me 10,000 people pay 25 bucks to see the Dalai Lama? This guy's a joke. And then, of course, you've got um, um, these, we got Bishop Eddie Long. <laughs> and then we've got uh, these other messiahs that rise and say they're the messiahs and mystic powers and imams and omams and I don't know, I'm going to have to tell my mom. I don't know what to do. I mean, we've got all these false prophets and false Christ and false uh, prophetic unctions that are being spewed out from people. But if it isn't biblically based, in other words, if the words they speak is not from the Bible, if they're, it, it, you have to understand, anybody that says they're Christ is a liar. There's no such thing. There's no way. When Jesus returns in Revelation, it says, He shall come back with his hair as white as wool, his eyes as the flame of fire, his vesture or his garment dipped in his precious blood. He'll be riding a white horse and on his thighs inscribed the name King of Kings and Lord of Lords, faithful and true. He's coming with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on the earth. I mean, when Jesus returns... The Bible says there's going to be a, 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 be a loud noise. There's going to be a sound from heaven. Gabriel will blow the trumpet and declare that time shall be no more. Every eye will behold him. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess 
that he is the king of kings and the lord of lords he's not going to be some siberian hanging up on a mountaintop <laughs> oh my lord he's not david koresh beating some people in the ground in some uh, compound in waco waco texas he's not the reverend jim jones who built the people's temple in guyana and got a thousand people to drink the kool-aid no 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 when jesus returns he is the king of kings see as a pastor a 26 year minister of the gospel who studied the bible from one end to the other these these ridiculous claims drive me insane the hypocrisy and the demon spirits this can that this guy should be in a mental institution if you think you're jesus christ you need to be on medication or you need to have men of God to come lay hands on you and cast that demon spirit out of you that has you so deceived. I'm Paul Begley. Just, just get on your knees and pray about it, okay? Just pray about it.